Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're not here, welcome to the channel. And today we are going to be ranking the Cuphead bosses, first by difficulty, and then by just like, I guess, ingenuity and like how and like how creative they are. Um, from a, a creative standpoint. So yeah, I'll let's get right to this. Oh yeah, and also, um, if my finger is covering any of the camera, the face cam, then that's because my, um, my face cam camera is actually right where my thumb would usually be, so it's like right here. It's kind of hard to explain without actually showing you, but yeah. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So right off the bat, he's pretty easy. It actually took me and my friend like a few months to beat him. But then again, we were only able to play like uh, three times in the span of like four months. And it's like each time we played, we kind of had to like relearn how to play. Since, um, since like he had the game, but I didn't at the time. But yeah, I guess a part of what made it so hard for us at the time was the fact that it's like, um, his attack pattern was kind of random. It's like he'd do small jumps and he'd do big jumps. And then it's like, he'd look like he's charging up for a big jump, but then actually do a small jump. And then like, it comes so fast that you can't really time for it. Of course, it's a lot easier compared to the other bosses, but at the time it was difficult. Um, the root pack, also pretty easy. Um, I don't know who, um... T is exactly like considered the first boss in the game i guess you can kind of just like pick and choose whoever you wanted to fight first but yeah no oh, excuse me um again it's also hard to tell since i haven't fought some of these bosses since i was like uh uh bad at the game uh back when i first started playing so it's gonna be hard to tell are, are we being crooks i'll put them in b Uh, Hildebrand, yeah, it's close. I mean, like, oh, this is like the first plane level, so it kind of was like a completely different shift. Um, it also is a level that makes you learn that you are going to hate plane levels no matter what. I'll put her in A. <clears throat> oh, sorry if I keep clearing my throat. Cagney Carnation, he wasn't that hard, or like not as hard as people um say he is at least. That's all the bosses for Inkwell Isle 1. Um, next up, who's the first boss in the second aisle? Well, I guess there's three to choose from. So, uh, Beppy the Clown. At first I thought it was going to be like impossibly hard. And he was for like a little bit until I got his patterns down. But it's like that final phase, it's like... I only was able to beat it because it's like I went through the entire level taking no damage until the very end when those dumb penguins came out and I, uh, yeah, I was able to just barely clutch it. So, <clears throat> I guess I'll put it in A for now. It, it might go down, depending on where I put the others. Um, where is actually? You know what? Do they not have him on this list? I don't think. They have... I, I think they're missing uh Jimmy the Great on this list. Unless I'm just not seeing him, but yeah, he's not here. But anyway, I'd probably put him at either B or A along um I'd put him at like the same level as uh Beppy. I'd say. So I guess this will count for both uh Beppy and Jimmy. She wasn't that hard, I put him in I'd put her in B or C. Why B? Um, I'm, I'm trying to think who else was in the second aisle. There was Grim Matchstick. He also wasn't as hard as people said he was. It was the last phase that was kind of hard because I was using the um the chasing, the chasing projectiles. So after I took that off, it was a little bit easier, but still. Nah, um, yeah, but still, that final phase was hard because it's like you had to run away from him, and then turn back to shoot at him. So it's just kind of hard. And plus, then you have to, like, I'm, um, like, purposefully aim it away uh, from the bubbles, because if they explode, then they do more. They make more projectiles, and it was just, like, this whole thing. I'd put him in... Just, I'll put him in A. Or maybe B. I'll put him in... I'll put him in high B. I, I might move him to A. Um, oh yeah, Owali Warbles was also in Inkwell Isle too. 
I thought he was going to be kind of hard, but he wasn't that hard. It was just like the final phase because it was hard to like aim downwards, I guess. Even when using the bomb, so I'll put him in B. Oh, you're B, I guess. Although, it doesn't really matter where I put him in the B. I think that's all for Inkwell Isle, too. Isle 3 had a lot of bosses. The most out of all the Isles it had 6 instead of the usual 5. I think. So, the first boss. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. I guess. So, the first boss that I fight, um, fought there was probably. um. Captain Brimey Beard, he wasn't that hard. I'd put him in C. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I keep a clear my throat. Then, next. He wasn't that hard, but he wasn't super easy either. I'd put him in high C. Or maybe even low B. I'll put him in high C for now. Um... Rumor hun- um, uh, Rumor Honey Bottoms... A lot of people thought that she was really hard too. Um, it actually didn't take me that long. I put her in B. I I um I'm putting a lot in B. I guess it's kind of like my baseline sort of. Cam Maria was really easy. I did her in like fifteen minutes. Sally stage play. The second phase was a pain to get by. Because there's so much stuff falling from the ceiling and there wasn't a lot of space to move around because she wouldn't like corner you. But other than that, she wasn't that bad actually. Now the last four. So this guy is um is known to many as the hardest boss in the game, and he's known for that for a reason. Definitely S. Um Phantom Express, going in S only because I am absolutely awful at parrying. Same goes for King Dice. And the devil. So a bit of backstory about the devil, or like, uh, my fight with the devil, um, so when I got to him, I actually took, like, a week off the game to kind of, like, um, uh, get myself ready, and I did it, and I like up had on the Switch, and it's usually in handheld, but uh, this time I decided to do it on, uh, um, in the docked mode, and, and I, and I didn't realize, but it's like, uh, my controller actually has a very slight delay. So it's like, it's not super noticeable if you're playing like a uh, Mario Maker 2 or a, or a Tetris 99 or something. But if you're playing like a game like uh, Cuphead, where it's like those like split seconds matter, it was definitely noticeable. So it took me a few hours. I got really frustrated and I didn't play it for a few months. I didn't play Cuphead at all for a few months. Until one day, I, I think it was actually like a week or two ago, that I got on in handheld mo mode in the car actually. And I beat him in like 20 minutes on like my 8th try. And that was my first time playing in months, so. I'd probably put him in B. Yeah, I'll put him in B. So that's my Cuphead difficulty ranking. In S, we have these three. A, those two. B, those six. C is three. And D also has three. So yeah, B definitely has the most here. A has the... Oh wait, well actually, well A is actually technically three as well because... Uh, this counts for two bosses, so, yeah. <clears throat> Other than that, that's all for the difficulty ranking. But now I'm going to pause the thing so I can reset it and, uh, do the, and do the, uh, creativity ranking. Okay, guys, I've gotten it reset. And now it is time to rank them by creativity. So first off, um... This guy, the ruse of a news himself. He, I guess, the final part, so the final phase was kind of creative with the way that it's like, it tried to like trick you into thinking that it's like, oh, you beat him, but you didn't. But other than that, he was kind of just like a bouncing slime. Um, these guys also not very creative. I mean, like, I guess it's like, uh, the potato was spitting out like uh dirt and worms. The onion was crying because it's an onion. And the carrot, because of like the conspiracy around carrots and like, oh yeah, they make you see in the dark and read minds, he had like uh ESP. So I guess a bit more creative than than uh Goopy Le Grande, but 
or uh or uh goopy look grand so what does i have an e in there i don't know <clears throat> i should probably have drink some water before uh filming this you know what i'm not gonna go in order because i have to like, keep scanning my eyes every time to find the next person um so this is pretty creative i like the i like the ties to tom and jerry i've been watching that since forever ago the Wally Warbles, not very creative. We'll put him in C, or D, even. Captain Brandy Beard, also not that creative. He's kind of just, like, controlling the sea, and then his boat came alive and tried to, like, kill you like that. So, um, <clears throat> uh, sorry. The next up, uh, next up we'll do Arabian Croaks. Since they are at, like, a casino-ish place, I guess. They turn into like a like a slot machine. But other than that, yeah, they weren't super creative. I I guess I could put them in C. Kidney carnation. Um. Not very not very like uh. Creative like for, for like uh ingenuity, but it's like. I did like his final phase and how it's like he seemed really like unhinged and just like a crazy in general. I'll put him in high D. Um, the Sredernan Zeppelin herself. I'm putting her in A. Because it's like, I feel like that's the boss where it's like, she learned that A, this game is extremely hard. B, uh, the plane levels are awful to like play in. Um, C, this game is just like uh visually stunning so yeah and on top of that it's like so the way that it's like her connection to like the stars and how like her final phase is like her turning into a hack moon yeah just really cool it definitely deserves a uh beppy and jimmy both go in a i'd say um sally stage play pretty creative i'd probably put her in b or a um, I'll, I'll, I'll put her in high B for now. Rumor Honey Bottoms, another, you know, another very creative one. I put her in A because it's like, she's seriously using dark magic to turn herself into a plane. You know, it's just crazy stuff like that. Uh, King Dice. So not just King Dice himself, but also like his mini bosses definitely deserves S. Um... Grand Matchstick, not very creative, but, uh, Hydras are cool. But, will that deserve C? I'll put him in low C. Just because I just like that boss. Um. She can go in B, because it's like, she's a mermaid who's also a Medusa, you know? It's just, and like, her hair is like made of eels. There's definitely a bit of... Quite a bit of uh, uh, creativity going around there. Um, I guess I could put her in low C. Um, having all her candy come to life and trying to kill you is pretty cool. Um, Dr. Kell's robot. I'd put him in either C or D. I don't know exactly where I would put him. It's kind of hard to tell. I'll put him in C, just because our uh, robots are cool. Um, I don't know. Just said it's like uh robots. The Phantom Express is going in A, or maybe even high A. I'll just put him in A for now. And now the devil himself. So when first playing this, I was getting to the end of the game. I, I um, I thought to myself. It's gonna be kind of weird to fight the devil after fighting like all these different creative um like uh bosses and stuff. Un until I realized that the devil is like the perfect final boss for a game like this that's in the uh rubber hose style, because it's like he can like do whatever he wants like with his body like he can like turn into like a goat he can turn into that weird serpent thing, he can grow like fifty times in size you know so he's kind of like the perfect final boss for this game. But does that deserve S? 
I don't know if it would deserve S. Maybe. And also, uh, am I being too harsh on these? Like, sh should a few be more, like placed up, placed down a bit? I'll let me know what you think in the comments. But I think that I'm going to put the devil in. I'll, I'll put him in high A. But yeah. So this is my Cuphead uh, creativity ranking. Uh, the most bosses are in A, seeing as uh, he counts for two bosses. But yeah. Uh, let me know oh, if you agree with my uh, rankings in the comments down below or to the right or just or wherever the comments are. And I will see you all next time. Bye.